This video covers the steps of installing a infant car seat base with a locking clip. Please refer to your car seat manual to see if you need to use a locking clip to install your infant car seat base. Begin by locating the locking clip on your infant car seat base. If there's no locking clip on your infant car seat base, please contact Graco's Consumer Services. Next, buckle the seat belt. Through the belt path on your infant car seat base. The vehicle seat belt should lie flat and not twisted on the car seat base. Press down on the infant car seat base and pull the slack out of the seat belt. After pushing down on the infant car seat base and pulling the slack out of the seat belt, I'm going to pinch the lap and shoulder belt by the vehicle buckle. While still pinching the lap and shoulder belt, unbuckle the vehicle seat belt. While still pinching the lap and shoulder belt together, pull the vehicle seat belt out of the belt path so it is easier to access. Now we're going to install the locking clip on the vehicle seat belt. This is your locking clip. When finished, we want the prongs of the locking clip to be facing on top of the vehicle seat belt. Slide the vehicle seat belt onto the locking clip, first in the front and then in the back. Now you can see the prongs are located on top of the vehicle seat belt and less than one inch away from the sliding latch plate. Our vehicle seat belt is now locked. Insert the seat belt into the belt path and buckle the infant car seat base. If you are unable to buckle the seat belt with the locking clip, please take out the vehicle seat belt, adjust the locking clip to make the vehicle seat belt slightly longer, and try to buckle the seat belt again. Now, test for tightness. Grab the infant car seat base by each side and shake the car seat side to side and front to back. Your infant car seat base should not move more than one inch side to side or front to back. If it does move more than one inch, repeat the installation process with the locking clip until the infant car seat ba base passes the test for tightness. After checking for tightness, check your level indicator. When checking your level indicator, make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Check your level indicator. Make sure it falls within the acceptable zone. There will be a label close by to your level indicator to show what is the appropriate zone for your car seat. If your level indicator is not in the acceptable zone, please repeat the installation process, adjust the infant car seat base, and reinstall. Your infant car seat base is now correctly installed with a locking clip.